What's good with the YouTube? Y'all already know Big Flacco with the convicts reaction where I smash, dash, and react. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. Them comments help, guys. Please hit the comments, hit the like button. All that helps hit the algorithm for us, man. So, you can already tell by the title and thumbnail, Adam22 of No Jumper. This dude, once again... <laughs> He likes to start some shit. He's always in some shit, man. I don't, I don't know when he's going to learn, learn, man. But first of all, he made a comment, right? Um, he kind of tried to bait WAC 100. WAC 100 didn't fall for it. But he brought up lefty gunplay. And there's one remark that kind of he made, right? I'm kind of wondering where this came from. He says that they're calling lefty gunplay the Mexican Crip Mac. Now, I've not heard any other platform say that on any other channel, right? So, what is Adam trying to do there? Now, first of all, man, come on. I don't even tap into everything that's going on in the rap scene. I know who Lefty Gunplay is. He's been all over the fucking place, right? So, Wack 100, I don't, I'm not going to say that he doesn't know who he is and that he's telling the truth. I'm not going to call him a liar either, though. Um, it's hard for me to believe that he doesn't know who this youngster is, right? Now, the Mexican Crip Mac word, though, right? To me, I, I don't know how you guys look at Adam-22 and uh, Crip Mac's relationship, right? But Crip Mac has always looked at as just a character, right? Almost, I don't want to call him a mascot because I think that'd be disrespectful, but he's so funny in the way he talks and the way he does things that a lot of people don't take him as serious, even though he's a Crip. They look at him as like his own fucking kind of like individual entity, the Crip Mac show, basically. is how I look at it, right? And I just, I take it at face value of what I see from the dude. And now... So putting that remark as far as the Mexican crit map, what are you getting at? Are you saying that he's a jokester? No one takes him serious? I mean, what kind of comment are you going there? Where are you leading this to? Is it based upon the popularity that this guy has? What is it? Now, it seems the only one that really has brought up the Mexican crit map has been Adam, saying that he heard that from someone in regards to uh, Lifty Gunplay. Now, I, I didn't see nothing really wrong with uh, WAC 100's response to Mexican rappers. He just didn't, it seemed like a topic he didn't want to fucking really touch on. He brought, now, he brought up that one video of some OG that lives out of state that's talking about Sudanian rappers and whatnot. And he's saying, well, he, he said it, not me. You know, that was a, you know, that almost looked like that was played for a reason. You know what I mean? Now, in regards to the comment, you know, picking up dirty Mexicans, uh, you know, to be honest with you, are we pushing something a little bit petty right there? Now, as you guys already know, I don't really care for a lot of Ant Adam 22's uh, antics. I think he has a lot to answer for, especially some of the um, type of predator type of deviant allegations that have made, been made against him, right? And I think everybody that goes on the show should be bringing that up. Um, but I'll say this. Sometimes because of his past and him being a journalist and him trying to ask those questions that could get people into a wreck, like he asked... Uh, you know, lefty gunplay about the NK tattoo and this and that and, you know, deliberately bringing up certain names and groups to, you know, whack 100. He's basically like seems like he's trying to bait people. Now, his comments there. OK, two Mexicans that were dirty. Yeah, they, they coming across the border. They're trying to, you know, they have to go through hills and sometimes and go from safe spot to safe spot. It's not an easy travel for everybody. So and him saying that they were dirty. I don't see nothing really wrong with that as much. You know what I mean? It's just sometimes people take things too personal whenever they hear their race being mentioned. I actually find more fault in him trying to bait the comment about lefty gunplay towards WAC 100. You know what I'm saying? But he has to be the same way towards every race, every group. You know what I mean? You know, if you're going to explain some, like, fucking, like, old bikers from the 70s and 80s, you know, people that were on biker status with the beers and, you know, been riding for two days on crank for days, you know, you got to make remarks like that towards everybody, you know, or whatever towards the blacks, you know. You can't just do it towards one group all the time. Otherwise, it's going to seem like you're scared of everybody else and you're signaling now one group and you're making it seem like it's on purpose. Now, I don't see anything wrong in the comments. You just got to be transparent across the board and be like that with everybody. For instance, whack when, I'm not like 100. Uh, Wes Watson came on the show. It's already been proven that everything that he said on his show, right? Not everything, but a lot of things that he discussed are fake. They're false. Right. Yet he hasn't done the journalist to look into that. Like he says, he's a journalist. Well, I got the proof, 100 percent proof of all of what I stated on there. That's from the Department of Corrections. What I had 
his housing history. You know what I'm saying? Him, you know, there's right there, you can see everything. Yeah, he has yet addressed that. The video still goes up, it still gets views. So he has selective process in what he wants to attack and what he wants to go after. You know, there's a lot of stuff that um, Anna 22 has done that's pretty much questionable and, and could be looked at as racial and whatnot. And that's the things that people maybe need to bring up in question. But this right here, you know, was he supposed to say, oh, two Mexicans that were not kept, they were up for a couple of days in the bushes trying to get over here. You know, they did not look, their tire didn't look clean. Is that how he's supposed to approach it? Because people get offended. He said dirty Mexicans. They came from Mexico into this country. They were dirty. So what? He's not classifying the whole people. He's classifying those individuals that got picked up that were coming coming across the border. So the thing about Ed and 22 and WAC 100 is that they've made so many stupid uh, choices when it comes to dealing with the Latino community down south, especially, right? That there's always been like a little rift or a little bit of issue or conflict that arises from it. So he's going to be under scrutiny anything that he says. But to be honest with you, what was said about the, the Mexicans coming across the border and all that, I ain't seen nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't said from a place of, of, I believe, hate or anything like that, you know? And I don't think he was trying to stir the pot up with that comment either. Now, I think the whole part about Lefty Gunplay, I think there was a little bit more energy into that. And what he was trying to bring out was something totally different. Where that was staged, I don't think so because it didn't really come out. It didn't come out in a way to where WAC 100 had conflict with the old boy, right? Now... And 22 is the one that keeps on referring to Lefty Gunplay as the Mexican Crip Mac. He said it in the, their last interview. He brought it up. Oh, I, someone told me you're the Mexican Crip Mac. Lefty Gunplay, who said he has respect for the Crips, Blacks, and, and you know, Crip Mac, which was uh, you know, pretty solid of him to say so, right? Um, so don't call me by that name, though. And so here you got Adam 22 trying to bring WAC 100 into something by making that remark. Now, that's what I have more issue with is that right there. It seems like everybody that goes on No Jumper, they get a little traction, right? They get the views and subscribers and all that, right? But it seems like the follow-up, there's always something Adam22 is looking at to stir up the pot or stir up the conflict, you know? But there's stuff that's been brought up to his attention that's relevantly true, and he still hasn't addressed it. If you're a journalist, you're supposed to put out accurate information. Like I said... The West Watson interview, there's many contradictions in his fucking story that are not valid. There's lies in there. You know what I'm saying? He talked about going to Centinella before he went to Arizona. I got to, he went straight from Donovan to fucking Arizona. Never went to fucking Centinella. Right? And if I'm mis not mistaken, I don't think there was any shoe kick out yard in Centinella at that time. I think it was Calipatra that had the shoe kick out, if I'm not mistaken. Citanella actually is either when a low level four or level three, usually, from my understanding. Anyways, you know, people got to remember that I'm 22. He is a journalist. He's not in the game. He's not in the streets. And he could have whoever he wants on the show, and he could ask whatever questions he wants to ask. You know what I'm saying? Whole thing knows he got to remember that his podcast is close to the streets by those that he has involved. And he has to be very careful with that. Very careful. And he's not known to give apologies or address anything that has it's been proven not to be true. And that's dangerous, man. It's a dangerous world down south, man. You're dealing with people who are, are in the industry, who are breaking the industry, but still have ties to the streets. So, you know, and like I said, any type of racial comment, they're going to be all over him, first of all, right? And any comment that he brings up the North. He's been bringing up the North a lot lately, but he has brought nobody in that's going to defend the North. That's the fucked up thing about it, man. And that's something he needs to consider. You know, in his future podcast, because like I said, these podcasts are becoming open platforms to disrespect certain groups. You have one group that's been doing it more than the other. You know what I'm saying? And the people who are usually speaking on that are people who haven't even been to fucking prison. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that should pretty much X them out. Or it's usually someone that's been on level two. Lefty Gunplay is the first person I've seen who's actually been on a um, high level yard to speak the way he has about the North. Which kind of baffles me a little bit because he should know what the program already is. You know, you do that much time, you get some get right. You learn about respect and you learn how to maneuver and wiggle and have dealings with people of all groups, even those that you may consider your enemy. And with Lucky, I have no problem with Lucky saying, you know, he won't do no song with the North and keeps it like that. He's a straight up suit anyway. I can respect that part. But all that fuck North this shit, can't respect that part. Nah, that's not how the, that's not the business right there. That's not staying with your business right there. 
or standing on your business. And to be to be honest with you, that just shows me the level and caliber of game member you're dealing with, you know? Because the real ones ain't going to talk about that. They're not worried about the game being in the street. They're not going to talk about a fucking opposition that doesn't exist in front of them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the last time I ever had any derogatory, you know, speaking on a South Sider was probably fucking, probably in the county jail back in 96, 97. When I came out, I never said a disrespectful word openly about anybody from down South. Because we were trained different, you know, regardless of how we may have felt. We were supposed to let our actions you know, let the, let the, uh, the, anywhere we're at where we got to handle our business be the fucking bell, but let's not wolf about it. That's how it was, always was. And because of that, I gained a lot of relationships with, with a lot of real Sudanians, real MA members, because we were in the same pods and blocks for fucking years. You know what I mean? Anyways, this is my thought about, uh, Adam 22 statements, man. Like I said, the, the one on lefty gunplay, I think is more serious than the, the one about the Mexicans and dirty Mexicans. You know, like I said, let's not become our own cancer culture. You already got enough people trying to push that cancer culture outside of fucking YouTube and in the real world. Let's not let that come in here. Let's not get petty and take offense to everything. With that said, I'm gone.